I'm with Lebanio Mortera Reis at the Cromlach Almendes. Lebanio, there's a lot of spiritual history here, going back something like 7,000 years. Yes, uh, no doubt this is the oldest architecture of mankind in this part of the world. Sacred architecture, because it's a megalithic enclosure used as a sanctuary. So here they come to pray the gods, to ask the same thing we ask today, to have health, uh, that nature provides all the food required, a uh, long life for your children. Well, uh, that part of human nature never changes. What changes the history is the form of the religion, the form of the uh, technology we use, but deep in our hearts we are the same humans since the beginning, asking for the same things. There are to some the God or to the gods. There are some unusual symbols in the stone behind you. Yes, here several stones still keep certain engravings. And in this particular one we can see the crook. And the crook is a symbol used uh, in these religious places related with something very practical used by the shepherds it is a tool that allows the shepherd to catch the sheep that is moving away so bringing it back uh, so it became a symbol of power of the shepherd over his sheep just as the bishop has a crook as well in Christianity now, there's a very high concentration of megalithic monuments in Alentejo. What uh, do you ascribe this to? Is this the center of ancient Portugal? This area around Évora, which is a world heritage city, uh, regarding the map of Portugal and Spain, here we find the largest number and some of the best examples in the whole Iberian Peninsula. What is amazing, no doubt. And it starts with the caves. It started with the caves. We have one cave who was occupied more than 50,000 years ago. And we have drawing and carved images with more than 20,000 years old. Still visible, but in small groups and booking in advance. Uh, here we have uh, amazing prehistorical evidences that really worth a visit. We have the highest dolmen with more than six meters height, huge stones, about 25, 30 tons, and it is amazing how they uh, could make it without technology, without cranes, they didn't know the wheel. The largest group is this one, this megalithic enclosure. Uh, these are not so big uh, as the dolmen. The dolmen is about 5,000 years old, so 3,000 BC. And of course, uh, in 2,000 years, technology made this uh, certain evolution. Anyway, uh, it is amazing that with their bare hands, they could make this kind of thing. And it's aligned with the equinox. In this case, uh, it is an elliptic, it's oval and uh, the X of the oval is perfectly aligned with the Echinos. Sunrise, sunset and then moving in the uh, solstice. So allowing them to understand when was the moment of the changing of the season. Ma changing of the rhythm of nature, basic for their survival. Thank you, Lebanio Mortera Dresch. My pleasure.